Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to discuss the Crop and Rotate module. The Crop and Rotate module can be found in the basic group. Some of the darkroom modules uh, require pixel interpolation. That means that when you rotate the image or when you crop it or change the perspective, some of these pixels will have to be created by interpolating the data from other pixels in the image to fill in the gaps. To get the best result, you have to change the settings in processing and pixel interpolator. Make sure that it's set to length ZOS3 because it's the best one of the interpolation algorithms. It's slower but not that slow and it gives you the best result. For more information about the preferences refer to the video on dark table preferences. You've got two tabs under the crop and rotate the main tab and the margins tab. Under the main tab the first option you've got is the flip and it allows you to mirror the image on the horizontal axis on the vertical axis or on both. Next we have the angle slider. It allows you to rotate the image. You can scroll it manually to rotate. You can enter a value The best of all is that you can let Darktable do that for you by selecting a horizontal or a vertical line with the right mouse button. So if we wanted this line to be straight, you can select it though, so, and it will make sure that this line is straight. Of course now the lighthouse is not straight but if we wanted the lighthouse to straighten up we can select the lighthouse while there is a separate perspective correction module you can do that as well in the crop and rotate module this will be a running theme of dark table you can do things in multiple ways sometimes more than three or four ways it's up to you to find out what works for you and sometimes some modules work for an, one image and another module works better for another image. Um, some way of uh, applying some correction or some processing will be easier in one module but more effective or more in-depth and uh, detailed in another module. We'll discuss these things as we encounter them. Now to correct the perspective here you can select in Keystone either vertical, horizontal or full. Vertical allows you to correct the vertical lines and you've got two vertical lines with four red circles that allow you to move them and modify them. And you've got here the infinity symbol which is actually a symmetry symbol. If you click on it those two lines will be connected and if you move one the other will image the movement now let's move this here and this one here to make sure that the lighthouse is straightened up if you now press OK it will correct the perspective for you notice that correcting the perspective creates most of the time some black areas in the image and you will have to crop your image to get rid of them. If we select horizontal then we get the horizontal lines and they follow the same rules as the vertical ones we just saw. Full gives you four sets of lines, uh, four lines or two sets of lines, and you can correct them all. Let's see how that works. So the 
vertical line will be set to correct the, the lighthouse and the horizontal line to correct the horizon and then we press on OK and there you go next we have the automatic cropping option the automatic crop, uh, cropping option gets rid, rid of the black areas but mainly when you rotate it does not work on the perspective as we just saw we already saw how it worked when we rotated the image but let's see what would happen if we had it set to no selected if we selected no now we're going to try to rotate the image and as you can see that creates a lot of black areas if I change that to yes the image is automatically cropped I usually prefer leaving it on no this way I can crop the image as I would like it the automatic cropping works most of the time but since I'll be cropping the image anyway I'd rather see the whole available pixels and crop it as I see fit next you can select the aspect ratio the first one is freehand freehand lets you change the aspect manually and select whatever you want original image keeps the aspect of the original image this button next to the aspect ratio lets you rotate the crop then you have square and all different kinds of aspect ratios that are self-explanatory as we've discussed before, Darktable is a non-destructive editing software. The cropping the image will not affect the original RAW file. You can change the crop, you can go back and remove the crop completely and you will be able to recover the original image. It will never be lost. Next, we have the guides. The guides help you check where you're putting the elements of each image and whether your the lines are straight or not the first one is a grid and you can change the number of vertical and horizontal lines and the subdivisions next you've got the rule of thirds metering, perspective, diagonal method, harmonious triangles, and golden mean. You can select golden sections, golden spiral sections, golden spiral, and some of the guides you can flip. Of course you can't flip the ones that are mirrored, but the ones that where it makes sense the guides are there to help you frame your image that means that they will give you an indication on where to place the main as main uh, focus points of your image the main subjects the additional subjects how to balance balance your image it's a really a white topic and it's not in the sc uh, scope of this video but we can make a video about that if, uh, if you're interested. You can as well change the crop using the margins tab. You've got four controls, each for each margin in the image, and you can change them manually. Of course the perspective will be kept because 
you selected it here if you had freehand you'll be able to change them separately I, I think I crop and correct uh, most of my images probably all of them I try to frame properly in the field but still I always frame with in mind that I will be cropping a bit out of that it's as well very helpful to make sure that you don't you didn't have you don't have stuff that you didn't see on the edges I always find out that at, if on late landscape photos there'll be something that I've missed on the edge a branch or a plant or a, a part of a building or part of a tree Crop and rotate is one of the first modules that I go to when I'm post-processing. Even if the image is well framed, I could have, can always be better. And then perspective correction is amazing. Uh, especially when you're taking photos of long buildings with a wide angle lens, you always need them. You'll always have to crop to fix the perspective. As I said, it's one of the most useful uh, modules and dark table, at least for me. Well, that's it for the crop and rotate module. It's all quite easy, I think. And remember that you can hover over any option to get a description of what it does. That's always helpful because there are so many options in every module in dark table that it's difficult to remember what they all do, even when you've just read about them or watched a video and especially after a few months you'll find out that you won't use every single option with every single photo that you edit but every now and again it's good to remember that these options are available and you can use them when needed hope that you found this video interesting and entertaining if you have any suggestions or corrections or requests please leave them in the comments below see you in the next video bye bye